I'm not coming off this chair. Well, we have a bit of a situation, as you can see. There seems to be a mouse in the house, and we're not sure what has happened to the mouse and where the mouse has gone. And um, some of us were very brave. Yeah, some of us. Some of us, not him. Some of us were on a chair screaming. Not on a chair. Some of us were a little startled. Some of us jumped over a couch. I was busy, you know, just working on the computer and all of a sudden people were screaming. So I started screaming. So that's why I <laughs> yeah, started right. screaming. Well, no, we, Finn was at the front closet with his, like, wagging his tail and he was like sniffing. That's Finn. <laughs> I've been. Oh, hi, Dexter. I've been. You heard us call. <laughs> <laughs> so Finn was at the front closet and uh, sniffing and kind of looking like he was looking at something in the closet. So I went and looked. And asked for Aiden to help because I figured that <laughs> it's because we keep saying his name. <laughs> yeah, there's that's Finn. better, Finn. So we pulled out the shoe. Like we have some bins in there with shoes. And okay, okay, let's move on with that. <laughs> we saw Finn sniffing around the closet, and so I asked Aiden to come with me because I thought maybe there was something in there. Um. And we pulled out the bins of shoes, and, and, lo and behold, a mouse shot out. And, <laughs> and some people said, I'm not screaming. really afraid of them. <laughs> I wasn't too bad. And the next thing I looked, yeah, right, you were running I in ran. front of me. I ran because there. I didn't want to get bit by a mouse. And then I look in the kitchen, and Matt's on the chair. Matt's on the chair. <laughs> Well, Screaming. I was busy working. I just, all I heard is pandemonium and um, Finn was going crazy. And all I have to say is this is just a good reason why we should yeah. have dogs because yeah. um, they really are man's best friend and uh, a mouse's worst enemy. So, yeah, so basically the situation is now we have tried to hunt the mouse and Finn has lost all... Traces. Finn seems to have lost the scent, but we don't know where the mouse is now. We're pretty sure he's in the kitchen. He or she is in the kitchen somewhere. Let me hope it's not pregnant. But we have not been able to locate the mouse as of this time. So it's going to be an interesting night. Uh, hopefully it's not a sleepless night. Uh, we're going to stay close to Finn. Um, this other guy here, Stan... He just went upstairs with the chaos and went into bed. He left. He, he doesn't want to have any part in killing anything. Yeah, he's very, he's very much uh, against killing. He's even a vegetarian. He's a vegetarian. So this is what's happened here tonight. Why does Finn look like this? Finn right. seems like he might be sensing something. If I feel anything on my feet, I will run. <laughs> yeah, we're laying on the floor. It's probably, probably not, not the, the best, best idea. idea. Yeah. So we're going to get up and we're going to let Finn get back to work. Oh, and just take your drink. Well, the time is now 11.03 and we no longer have a mouse in the house, but we're tired. Yeah. Um, it was a crazy experience. We spent a lot of time in the kitchen. We actually spotted the mouse a few times. And he's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. Okay, guys. Okay. Yeah, he came out a few times, but we couldn't get him. We had various ideas, such as sucking him up with a vacuum.
trapping him in a container. Pounding him with a Swiffer. Hitting him with a broom. We uninstalled the dishwasher, <laughs> pulled it out, took apart the oven. And he wasn't even there. As you can see right now, our house is a total mess and disaster. So we were stuck in the kitchen. We thought we had him cornered. And it turns out that he was a smart mouse. Yeah, we kept hearing like a little something behind us, but we didn't know if it was the dogs. We were sitting, standing in the dark in the kitchen <laughs> with brooms, like as weapons in case he came out. And then Matt looked at the front door and he saw the mouse. Somehow he got past all of our barricades. So we think that we moved a box that was under the kitchen sink. And even though we kind of went through it, he was somehow hiding in there and we put the box behind us. And so we think that he ran out of that box and he was making a beeline for the front door. And he went back to the closet where we first found him. Huh. And then we just got ourselves ready. We got Finn. And we got Finny. On a leash. And we had to put him on a leash so that he wouldn't run out the door after the mouse. And uh, then we all took position. We had our weapons in our hands, broom, mop, and Swiffer. <laughs> and then we opened the front door and he jumped over the stairs. No, well, what happened was Matt was supposed to be guarding the front closet where the mouse was. And I was trying to fish him out the other side. But then he came out Matt's side and Matt screamed again. Ah! Ah! So the mouse started to go back toward the kitchen. The kitchen was barricaded, so we had everything sealed off. So he actually got stuck trying to go in the kitchen and there was a bench right. flipped over. And then he turned around and he ran towards the front door. Where I was. And everyone just went crazy. We were all trying to smack him with the various things. And he made this like Superman jump mm -hmm. to the front door. And then he landed and stopped at the front door and he was kind of under the open door. And finally we were able to just to scare him out through the door. And he ran and for he his ran. life. And then we tried to close the door and we couldn't close the door. Yeah, he was gone, but we were afraid. <laughs> so our house has been turned upside down, and now we're going to have to clean it up. Um, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe both. Um, but the good news is there's no more mouse in the house. High yes, five. Thank gosh. High five. Or is there. Or is there.